Hi there and welcome to my next geometric practice. What I'm going to do in AutoCAD today is I'm going to create a circle that's tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle using the existing information from these two circles and the principles of geometric constructions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this circle the distance of the radius of the arc that I'm going to create. And the arc that I'm the circle that I'm going to use for the tangent is 60 uh, units. So what I can do for this one is I'm going to what I want to find I want to create an arc that's going to be tangent between these two circles in this section here. So I'm going to need to find a center on this side somewhere. So what I can do first is I'm going to offset this circle the distance of that radius, which is 60. So with this circle, somewhere in this area here is going to be a center. And when I when I use this this geometry to create that other circle, I can find that intersection. So what I can do now is I need to figure out it's going to be tangent on this side. So I need to take my radius of 60 of the circle that I'm trying to create and this existing radius so and subtract them so 60 minus 25 is going to be 35 so now if I use the circle command and create a circle from this point here a radius of 35 it's going to give me an intersection that I see right here if I use this intersection for my radius of 60 I'll be able to create a circle that's tangent at this edge of this circle that's a radius of 25 and tangent on this circle with the radius of 35. So I'll go to the circle command. This is my center point. Type in my radius of 60 and there I have my circle. It's tangent on circle A in this area right here and it's tangent on circle B in this area here. So to summarize that I'll just erase my circles here that I've created. I need to offset this circle, the distance of my radius that's given to me as 60. I can take this circle and create a concentric circle about its center with the radius of the, this radius subtracted from the total radius of 60, which is 35. I get an intersection. From this intersection, I'm going to type in the radius that I'm looking for, radius of 60. And now I can go into the trim command and trim off this extra piece. I'll have an arc that's tangent to two existing circles. Hope you found these steps easy to repeat and uh, look forward to helping you again in the future. Thanks.